I'm going to be doing some water and method example solves. Um, and I'll put I'll put the scrambles in the description. White on top, green on front, and let's get started. Okay, first one. So uh, one important thing to note is I am color neutral, which means I can start my first layer on any color. So that gives me an advantage uh, in some part, meaning that I can basically use whatever option looks best. So uh, red's looking pretty good. There's an already connected pair right here. And if I look at a pair that goes across from it with the yellow bottom right there, that's this right here, and it pairs up with that easily. So one move there and then move it over and down like that so that it's paired up. Now um, I'll put in the corners and I see one corner is in uh, not so great of a spot and these two can't pair up like down here. So I'll put this one in first uh, being the blue one. And then um, what's nice about that, these two pair up right here. And so I can put in my final, or my third edge, and then leave that one open. Um, just an L case right here for the CLL. And that leaves some edges oriented, and they're across from each other, so I can't make much use of both of them, but I can definitely use one of them, like this yellow one right here because and that's in a good spot because I can just bring that down immediately and put it up in the yellow slot like that. Now um, that also leaves this in a good position because it's also an oriented edge and it just goes across so it won't break up this when I bring it down on this other side like that. So now I have two edges in and I can start looking to uh, insert a third one of these with my last uh, left side edge. So, well, the last well, uh, one of the ones of the orange layer, so the third one is easily in there. So then I look, um, how can I insert this so that this red and yellow edge will go in there? Um, and the red and yellow is right here. So if I just insert it, if I just inserted it like that, this it would bring this edge in, but that one would be flipped. So I decide to bring this down to the back right here with an M move. So now it's at the back. And and like this, you see, when I insert it, that also brings this up there. Um, and then I'm left with my last right side edge. And not so great of a case. Say two, two bad edges on the middle there. Then I can go directly into edge permutation. Next scramble. Okay, so um, what I see, I see green looks pretty good because three of the corners are already correct. And this one can just go in with three moves because it's not opposite green, it's right there. So I'd, I'll put this in there. So now the corners are solved. And what I can do here, I have several options. Um, and let's see, looks good to take just this white one out and bring it over here, but without inserting the center too. So I'm left with more freedom of movement. And now um, I can use this orange one right here and uh, pair it up at the center, then bring it into the layer. And now uh, the red one's in a good spot because I can insert it with three moves like that. So now, uh, not a great CLL case. It was one of the ones of the pot case um, and now this is a good case because uh, all the 
edges are in the middle layer, which means I can basically choose any of them. But since orange is already on top for the insertion, I'll just choose that. Orange edge is right here. Bring it in like that. And I leave still some edges on the middle layer. Uh, red looks good because when I do, I can do a wide move to bring the red up here. That leaves this one down here for another three move insertion like that. Now again, I look for a way to bring, a way to solve two edges at once. And right off the bat, um, since the blue edge is already in here, blue and white, which goes back here, and uh, the green and yellow edge is already in the middle layer, I can just bring, a, we use a wide move to bring the blue and white to the proper slot, but also bring this edge down here. So now with an easy three move insertion, those both go in there. And not a great middle edge case, too, too bad, but too bad edges in there. But um, I'll solve it. And that leaves us with all edges oriented um, and three cycle. Now, third scramble. Um, there's some nice parts of the scramble. I see. There are two pairs uh, right here, and they both contain green, so I can use that for my layer. I'll use green, yeah. Um, this pair will go right up here, so bring it up and over. That solves those. And then um, I see that this is an already made pair, when it, so when I'm inserting my corner, that's easy to insert like that. And then this corner, last corner, and this is one of the cases where you'll solve the center last um, on the layer like that. So now I have an anti soon case, which is this. So, um, and that solves an edge in the blue layer, which is nice. Um, happens about one fifth of the time. Uh, and nothing particularly good here, but I'll go for the yellow since that's the only one in the middle layer of the right side. And then, uh, again, nothing great uh, because this one's not in a good orientation to just do a three move insertion. But what I can do for uh, solving one of these and, one, and this one at the same time, even though this one's flipped, it can be brought together with a green edge relatively easily. If I put the green edge right there, bring this up here because I want the blue and green to oppose each other, so with a U move, they oppose each other. Then just bring it back down to the middle layer, but over again, so that when you insert them, they go in the right way. And this and that uh, resorts in a nice edge case, because as you can see, there are no bad edges in the middle layer. So it's just that, and then you're left with two cycles on the top.